Unbelievable. He actually turned an old refrigeration tank into a small wind turbine. Simply install it on the roof, and it can generate electricity from the wind. How amazing is that? First, he used an angle grinder to precisely cut the tank in half along the lines he had marked earlier. Then, using the same technique, he cut out two ring components, placed them on a steel plate, and traced around them. He then used a cutting tool to follow the marked lines, eventually producing two circular steel plates. These were welded together with the ring components, forming two sturdy steel discs. Next, he drew a smaller circular mark on the surface of one of the discs and drilled holes accordingly. On the other disc, he sketched the shape of the Mercedes-Benz logo and, using calipers, measured the exact points for bolt placement. After arranging the bolts, he welded them securely in place. He then welded a stainless steel cylinder in the center of the disc's backside and mounted a bearing, carefully aligning and testing it to ensure everything fit perfectly. Afterward, he welded a short pipe onto the surface of the other disc to secure the bearing. When joining the two discs together, he also welded another pipe to the top disc and placed magnets in a specific pattern inside the discs. To generate an electromagnetic effect, he placed pre-wound coils behind the discs, connecting the excess wire ends in parallel. Each wire end was secured with solder to prevent loosening over time. He then attached red and white power lines to the wire ends, creating the power output terminal. Finally, he poured epoxy resin into the discs, securely fixing the magnets and coils in place. This clever design not only prevents water damage, but also provides insulation. Sin had completely solidified, he reassembled the two discs and connected the live and neutral wires to a light bulb. As soon as the disc spun, the bulb lit up instantly. Truly amazing. He then spray painted the disc surface yellow to give it a nice finish. Next, he started making the turbine blades. He horizontally cut a PVC pipe into three sections, then heated them with a flame to soften them. After repeated adjustments, the curved PVC strips became flat and smooth. He fastened them to square tubes with screws to ensure the blades would be sturdy and durable when mounted on the wind turbine. Once the turbine was finished, he installed it on the roof and mounted the blades in place. The entire process was flawlessly executed. He then connected his household fan and water pump to the power strip on the turbine. As the blade spun rapidly, both the water pump and fan were powered up. You have to admit, this guy's creative solution to his home's electricity problem is nothing short of genius. How many points would you give him for this incredible idea?